Okay, you guys. I've never been pregnant before, so let's just put that out there. What you already know what it is, we're back in the game another video, and hey, goody gang, hi, you guys, and before anything, you know what I would love for you guys to do, like, share, subscribe, damn, that hurt, like, share, subscribe, and be a part of the gang, that is good, hi, you guys, well, I'm goody, so let's get into the story, because I noticed why you guys came, um, just a quick disclaimer, I would like to tell you guys to be very careful. Be very, very careful, okay? You don't need to be experiencing these things. Teenage pregnancy is a very scary thing because you are still a baby yourself. So for you to be a bee, you a baby having a baby, it's just it's scary. However, if you are a teenager and you are having like sex, I can't even say it until you don't do it because I had sex when I was a teenager too. Like, I couldn't even tell you not to do it. What I would tell you is be extremely, extremely careful. So let's get into the story. So, <laughs> she's nobody knows this, but um, I'm gonna tell it. So. At the time, I wasn't a virgin anymore. So let's just get that out the way. I wasn't a virgin anymore, obviously. And we was basically, we was having, we was doing it pretty often. I would say that. We was doing this pretty often. We were, well, you know, um, often, sometimes, every day after school i feel like i feel so embarrassed <laughs> like so embarrassed about all of this stuff that i'm saying but um anyways so <laughs> i was like i just gotta get my nerves out so anyways um at the time that we were doing this before then people already thought that i was um having sex with him like i wasn't a virgin but i was like at that time what the f is going on what be going on in my backyard only god know it. anyway at the time That is so annoying. Anyways, at the time, people, before then, people thought that we were doing something, but we weren't. Like, nothing was going on. However, by the time that something was going on, all them questions, like, went away. Like, oh, like, you know, even high school, and there's a couple, like, there's, like, a high school couple that's together for, like, ever and ever. And people are asking, like, oh, are y'all, like, is y'all having sex? Is she a virgin? Like, are you a virgin? And, like, y'all are doing something. Da -da 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 yada, 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 I had all those. I got those questions so many times when I was in school. However, at that time when I was being questioned by all my other classmates, I wasn't doing nothing. But I had a friend that basically, like, put it out there that I was doing something. At the time that I started doing something, it's like this... Like, this is why you cannot be telling people your business, like, at all. You should not be telling people your business. Like, she was insinuating things. Like, yo, what the f*** is that? I can't. Oh, my God. Anyway. Okay, I think the noise is over. Anyways. This is why you can't tell people your business because they will spill your business to others. So, anyways. So, now, we were doing it, right? Also, his mother knew that 
we were having sex because him and his mom were very close and he told her <laughs> he told her so so now right like i said we was doing it like we was little rabbits sometimes so we would just be doing all that but the thing is is when you're young and you're you're indulging in this it's like sometimes you do do it a lot because you're trying to figure out what you like and what you want and what you desire and stuff like that. Like, you know, what pleases you, what turns you on, whatever. So it's like, this is your like, what's it called? Your learning stage plus I was doing it a lot, whatever. So now... It was a time that I didn't see my period. Like, I didn't get my period for, like, two months. Yes, I didn't see my period for, like, two months. So, the first month, it didn't even, like, click in my mind. You know what I'm saying? Because the crazy thing is, at the time that I was sexually active as a teenager... I had like an app on my phone that basically um I would write like I would jot down when I got my period um and also when I was being sexually active because my GYN she told me about it so to like you know keep me on my cycle and stuff like that so I was also in cheer I was also like a cheerleader or whatever so I was at cheer practice and for whatever reason we was having like a conversation or whatever and I was just in my I don't remember what the conversation was about but I was just thinking to myself oh my god I didn't see my period like I was just sitting there like I haven't seen my period I didn't see it last month either so Goody, let me tell you something. Sometimes, if you are a person that has regular periods and you don't get your period one month, you need to just go to the damn gynecologist if you have regular periods because there are some women that have irregular periods. So, if you have like a regular period, you get your period every month, you need to go to the gynecologist. Like, just go if you didn't get your period i think you should just call them figure out what's going on but i didn't do that at a young at that age i didn't do that one i had a very strict grandmother okay i couldn't go to my grandmother and tell her these things she would lose she would like let me tell you something my she would just lose her mind okay i couldn't go to her and tell her anything so about this one we went to church okay i was still very much going to church on sundays and um having a little boyfriend during the week like goody she called my boyfriend my friend like forever until we graduated high school she was the only time she even acknowledged him as a my boyfriend the whole time i was in school she was like oh your little friend this was not my little friend. This was my big friend. And we were doing a lot of things. But she's very strict. So it's not like I could go to her and tell her, oh my God, like I didn't see my period. She would automatically just... She... she... I'm a couldn't buy that we did. So I just didn't go to her. So now... Oh God. So this would happen right i was so scared and nervous about what i thought was going on with me so my grandmother she had my information she had my insurance she had basically everything for me so what i did was in order for me to go to the gynecologist i needed to get my information right so i just <laughs> i just like i asked her for it but the way that I asked her, I made up a little lie 
and said that basically like I needed it for like cheerleading purposes. I don't remember, but it was something along the something like that. Like I needed to like go to the doctor because um we we all need to do our physical, so I need to go to the doctor. So she gave me my insurance card. So now I was able to go to the GYN. So now I go to the GYN and I call my ex and I told him everything that was going on. Like I haven't seen my period in like two months and like, you know, stuff like that. So I'm at the GYN. I tell the GYN finally that I'm being sexually active. And she's like, okay, so why am I here? And I told her, I haven't seen my period in two months. So she's like, do you think you're pregnant? And I said, I think I might be pregnant. So she's like, she sees the scares on my face. She sees the panic in my eyes. So <laughs> she makes me take a pregnancy test. And I did the test. Thank God I wasn't pregnant. But um, she basically told me the reason why my period didn't come is because um, of anxiety and stress. Which I didn't know at the time that that could be a thing. Like you can get so stressed out that you don't get your period. And from anxiety, you don't get your period. But um, that has happened to me again when I get like, I just like my body is, I'm very stressed out. Um, my, my anxiety is high, I will tend to like miss my period. So that happened. So now that happened when I was a teenager and it happened again later on in my teenage years. So it's a pretty normal thing. Sometimes you can stress yourself out so much about thinking that you're pregnant. You can think yourself into certain things. Like that's what people, you can do that. You can think in your mind that something is going on in your body and then it starts happening. So now she tells me that, you know, I need to relax, um, keep using condoms and stuff like that. So now I told him before I took the pregnancy test that I was going to take a pregnancy test while I'm at the doctor, right? He had his phone on speaker. So his mother heard what I said, okay? So now she, this is what he's telling me. So she heard that what I said, she told him, listen, I don't think she's pregnant, but if she is, she needs to know all her options. So after I say this, I'm not pregnant. I call him back and tell him that I'm not pregnant. And he's like, all right, cool. Um, I need you to come over to my house. So I go over to his house and his mom is there. So it's like me, him and his mom. So she's having a conversation with us. Like, you know, basically she knows we're doing things and she wants us to be very careful and safe. And, um, you know, just basically she don't want no babies in her house. And the thing is, it's crazy because if that was my grandmother, none of, none of them something that would have gone down. It would have been hell and high water, okay? Ain't no, oh, it's, you know, you guys be careful. I feel like maybe she had that conversation with us because he's a, you know, he's a boy. And, yeah, that's, yeah, I think so. Because he's a man, I'm a woman, that's her son, so she, she knows he's gonna do it anyway. So, be safe about it. Um, I know you got a girlfriend, I know you're doing things just be careful and she basically let me know that she knows that my grandmother is strict she knows i have a very i come from a very strict home so if there was ever a case where something were to happen that i know all of my options thank god that i wasn't pregnant because 
I feel I loved his mother so much. She was a very sweet woman. But I feel like if I was, that she would help me, you know, if even if I wanted to, you know, maybe have that she would take me to the clinic because she told me that basically it's your body and you can do what you want, but you should know all of your options. And the thing is, I grew up in a, a household that nobody really explained sex to me. It was more like we're going to church and that's that. Nothing more, nothing less. You shouldn't be doing it anyway. But, you know, you're going to church and you're going to school with a lot of people who aren't doing that. So it's very hard because it's like, I want to, it's like, I'm not trying to go against my religion, but I want to still do what I want in a sense and have fun with my friends and <sighs> listen i have some stories about church if y'all want to hear them just say that but um video bye <laughs> god that's making me so nervous <laughs>